Hi, I'm Nina Biffinger with Robert Allen, continuing the Fall 2015 trunk shows. The next is going to be Dwell Studio. Dwell Studio is a lifestyle brand with patterns that wow. They are known for their mid-century modern spin on color and patterns. The fabric collections are well-priced prints, complemented by uniquely woven fabrics, including graphic velvets, high-style embroideries, and jacquards. The latest collection that we've partnered with Dwell Studio to make is called Modern Caravan. It is inspired by the love of travel, and I don't know who doesn't love to travel, but this collection is going to take you from India to Morocco and Asia. I've also layered this collection with some of the previous Dwell Studio collections just to give you a little reminder of what else we've done and how well they can work together. Again, the styles and the prints are going to be perfect for drapery. They're also wonderful for the borders on drapery, pillows, and light upholstery. Our first pattern is called Plume Redo, which literally translates to bring in back the bird, which is what we're doing. This is one of the most popular patterns for Dwell Studio and Robert Allen. This gives a more modern twist on a classic chinoiserie style with a new colorway, especially this modern pattern here. It's been really popular. It's pretty, pretty subtle. You get a little bit of the persimmon colors in there as well, so it's been very, very well received. Now chartreuse or citron or mustard, whatever colorway within that category kind of looks a little different how it's presented, and you really see it layer here with a couple of the patterns. There's a little bit of that color in this pattern right here. Then layering it with a previous collection pattern, Pantheon in Dandelion. And then with this next one called Lolita, it does come in three different colorways. All three of them have a yellow. You can see how different it looks which, with each of the three colorways. Then Lita Peony, great scale again for bedding or for drapery. And here you can layer these two different flowers because that orange really comes together with these two patterns. The next one is a pretty popular one as well. It's called Ming Dragon. It does have a couple of other colorways as well. This one, that orange, comes together with the peony. This one, very vibrant as well. I will say it wasn't originally one of my favorite patterns, so I was looking for some pictures online to see how it would look with applications. And I found this one a designer had uploaded in a living room that was kind of boring. It just was a gray couch, gray walls, um, but it really came to life when she put these huge throw pillows on the couch with this Ming the Dragon pattern. It just, it really did bring the room to life. So then all of a sudden I became a bigger fan. Next we have Etched Velvet, which is a luminous velvet construction. It has a metallic printed grid on it. It feels very soft and it also comes in several other colorways as well. Then we have Hanabi Burst, which I looked it up, and Hanabi means firework in Japanese. But this handsome foliage with the tonal hues just brings a softness to the color patterns for all the colorways. Then some geometrics with Jackrabbit Fret, again, can layer nicely with a couple of these patterns. There's one colorway, the second, neutrals in there, and then that yellow again layering so nicely with several of the patterns. Now this next one is one of my favorites. I'm going to put a picture up so you can see it as well once I show you all of these patterns that come together for a bedroom. So this is Kavali OG. It's inspired by Indian block prints. The color makes a modern frame really great scale for bedding or for drapery as you'll see in the picture that I show you. It also comes in these three other lovely colors. Then we have Jita Stripe, which there, it can be fantastic. Up a chair as bedding that you'll see in the picture. Again, these colors all can combine with Kavali. Got this blue with that bottom turquoise and blue. 
Then we have a brown that goes with this top one as brown. And then this last color is a midnight, which depending on the lighting can look navy or can really look black. But again, it can either it can go with either that top brown one or that bottom one down there. The next is Rahita Tiger, which just makes a bold statement. It's a fun print. It could be for a kid's room, for a man cave, or this middle one actually became the bolster pillow and the picture in the bedroom. Another little bit of fun information about this pattern. It was actually the pattern on the lining of a French coat for one of the Dwell Studio designers. Robert Allen loved it, we edited it, and we made it our own. And last, but certainly not least, because it has been a favorite, we have Bingle Lattice. This is a striking graphic cut velvet lattice. Viscose pile, feels so lovely, looks fabulous. And finally, as I mentioned, there are other fabulous constructions that Dwell Studio does. We've got this gorgeous, embroidery here, and it does come in many other colors. We have this Padre Paisley, which has a lovely texture. It's a viscose cotton blend, great pattern. Again, several other colors. This Berber stripe here has been really popular as well. It would look fantastic for trim, pillow edging, you name it. It would just be so fun and really complement a lot of the patterns that I've shown you today. And then Zari Stripe, just a really fun interpretation, some great graphic, good print, and it's very soft as well. If you have any questions or would like memos, books, trunk show presentations, or want to partner with me on future projects, please email me at nina at avenuereps.com. Thanks for taking this caravan with me. Now, saving the best for last. You do not want to miss our one-of-a-kind Beacon Hill Velvets. And since networking is key, I invite you to connect with me on social media via LinkedIn and YouTube. Subscribe to my channel for presentations, updates, and industry tips.